Hi, I'm Justin, the resident coffee geek from EMS. Today I'm going to talk to you about milk in this video. So we've got a couple of different milk jugs here to start. The first one is a very commonly used one in New, in New Zealand. And then I'm going to introduce you to my new favourite, the Motta Europa. It's very thick gauge stainless steel, which I quite like for good temperature feel. I find it very accurate and it has a nice hooked spout. So when I'm actually pouring to do my latte art, I'm hooked right into the cup, as you can see. So I really quite like this jug. So, so when we're making our milk, we want to use good quality, fresh, chilled milk, okay? We want to put it into our jug. Our jug will then feel quite cold. Then we'll steam our milk on the steamer feeling it, not with our fingertips up above where the milk will be, we need to be pushing into our soft skin right there, nice and hard so you can feel it really well. When it's hot enough, around 65 to 70, it should be a one-two ouch effect. So if we're holding up here, our fingertips are thick, we'll end up with milk far too hot. Okay, so I've got my cold milk, it feels cold. I'm coming over to the steamer, I'm gonna prime it, wipe it, have my nozzle below the milk so it doesn't spray up in my face. Not too deep though, I'm gonna turn the steam wand on. Slowly lowering the jug, getting a gentle hissing sound as I stretch my milk. It's very important that we stretch the milk, but not too much. Now I'm just going to move to a whirlpool slightly deeper with my wand and it's just going to whirlpool all those bubbles smooth. Okay. Now that it feels hot, turn off. The couple of bubbles on the top I'll just pop. Okay, feeling that, one, two, ouch. Good temperature. Going to groom my milk just by wobbling it around and it's going to go really, really shiny. Okay, shiny milk's good. No bubbles, no texture, just good silky milk. Agitate your shot and just pour nice and gently into the cup. Okay, come down to the cup and speed up. And we've got lovely silky milk. What we're looking for when we do this is you can't actually see where the foam stops and the milk starts. It's really well mixed and a really silky feel, which will feel lovely in your mouth. Now this time that I make my milk, I'm gonna talk a bit more about the angle of the steam wand and getting a nice whirlpool in the jug. So not only is it the gentle hissing, it's also the angle of the jug and wand to get a good whirlpool. The whirlpool's what smooth your milk out. So a little bit of stretching or making bubbles and then whirlpooling it smooth. So we simply get our wand in a comfortable position for you into the milk and it's slightly off centered or the jug is slightly tilted. Okay, turn it on. Gentle stretching, feeling the bottom of the jug and then into that whirlpool slightly deeper and that smooths all your milk out. Okay, not too deep though, not as deep as I can go, just really shallow but not stretching the milk more. And when it's hot, we turn it off. So we really want to get that angle right to get the good whirlpool to give us that velvety, silky milk that we're after. 